Good <coughs> morning, fans of Rectier FX. Come back to you on the Monday after Credit Swiss was bought for the value of two husks of corn and four peanut shells. Uh, UBS got, I think, $9 billion in protection against losses. And they're already whinging about liquidating the investment banking portfolio, which they should be in no rush to do, right? You know, global rates are going lower. Even the dog shit that's in that basket's going to float, float to the top. What a steal um, by UBS. Bravo. Um, for Credit Suisse, what, what can you say? You're, you fucked yourself, and now you're getting fucked by everybody else. Um, you're fucked. Employees, sorry. You're fucked. Equity owners, you know you're fucked. Even some of the, the debt owners, you're fucked. If you own Cocos, you got zero. I mean, massacre. Uh, asset destruction. Really uh, shocking. Shocking turn of events there. And I guess, I don't know. Can we just... It's just that badly run, I guess. I don't know. I don't want to get into. I don't want to beat a dead horse. Um, let's uh, let's look forward here. Let's see what's going on. Gold. Um, you, you want to try to own gold this week? We think the U.S. is going to have to unveil a massive uh, quote unquote QE type program. Backstop the banks. Um, that could be positive for equities. We don't really have a. We're not really running a big equities book right now, uh, but we are uh, trying to get short dollars as best we can, right? So we bought some gold at the open, uh, pretty much at the tippity top highs, uh, and then we also got given at the very, very lows. So we're we're long right here at eighty, um, just moving up like seven bucks here, going into the London Open, eighty three and a half paid. Uh, we like gold higher. We're getting super close to the all-time um, all-time highs. You see here. This is the the yearly chart. Twenty seventy five was the high. In twenty twenty. Twenty. 70 was the high in 2022 so you know last week we went up 80 bucks um can we go up another 80 bucks this week i don't know i mean um in 2008 gold went down 40 percent before tripling you know there was a big dollar buy i don't want to get into this now you can look at the charts yourself but there was a big dollar buy in 2008, so March 2008, gold went down from like 1100 to 700 and then went to 2000 So it went down 40%, then up 300%. Crude actually went up to 140 <clears throat> and then down to like 40 uh, Crude here is already on its knees, and we're just in a different situation. The... Debt to GDP is 130%, give or take. 31 trillion in debt. Banks have fucked their balance sheet like a bunch of fucking rhesus monkeys. Um, and also, like the other big elephant in the room, which I don't know enough about, but it's just, you don't have to be, you know, you don't have to be Albert Einstein to think about how many corporates are going to have to sell bonds that they used to sell at 1%. They used to pay 1% for to borrow that money. Now they're going to have to pay 4 or 5. Um, and those of you in Switzerland, which no one here is listening in Switzerland, but you could take it from me, and, and here's a good example. In, in 2002, you know, the mortgages here are pretty low. We had a LIBOR mortgage for, I don't know, 20 years. And LIBOR was trading here at like, I don't know, 70 basis points. So you could borrow a million Swiss francs and pay seven grand a year. But between 2002 and 2007, 
rates went up to like 3% in Switzerland. And I wasn't really paying attention to my mortgage, but it was my wife who said, you know, the the mortgage payment, you know, has tripled. And of course we could manage the we could manage it, you know. I was running a hedge fund at the time, so I didn't really pay too much attention to that shit. Um but it was kind of stunning and then I started looking at the Swiss rates and holy shit and wow and and the point is when your base is close to zero a one or two or three percent move is not some small little move it's a doubling or a tripling of your bill so think of corporations who borrow a billion dollars you pay 1% on that, that'll cost you 10 million, but you pay 4% on that, it'll cost you 40 million. Um, and how is this going to negatively affect all of these idiot zombie companies? And Anyway, I'm going on. Uh, looks like we're going to have to do some massive package. Uh, and this, I don't know what it's going to do to rates at the long end, because at some point, People are going to say, how much debt can you accumulate before we doubt whether you can pay pay your bills? All roads lead to a lower dollar, as far as we can see here. Uh, this is the main thing. Like, So if they question our debt, we're going to have to print, which will be lower dollar. If they don't question our debt, which would mean we will have lowered rates dramatically, which means lower dollar. If we do a sneaky QE back every deposit, looks like lower dollar. Uh, so, you know, for anyone who's questioning where we are on this trade for this week, um, we think the flock is going to be trying to sell dollars. So the, to, just to keep it simple, it should be gold. We actually... Um, You know, we just want to try and simplify this as much as we can. Whether euro or cable, I certainly don't like selling dollar Swiss. I think um, the Swiss economy is going to get hurt here. There's, there's going to be a lot of high six-figure jobs that are going to be culled. Um, and in Switzerland, if you lose your job, you get paid unemployment for two years, up to 110000 a year. So that just adds to the debt, um, lowers the tax base. There's a lot of things in Switzerland that are going to be hooky, hooky, kamuki, um, next couple of years. So I'm not, not super bullish on the Swiss franc in this sort of crisis mode. And so where do you go? You go to gold or you go to Ethereum. Uh, Ethereum happens to be off 80 bucks. Uh, but you know, you want to just try and flip dips into ethereum right this is the daily in ethereum probably going to be support around 1740 where are we now 1760 um already visited 40 you could probably just buy this between 1740 and 1700 uh makes a lot of sense to us so ethereum or gold or you want to sell dollar yen Dollar yen's been a little bit uh, stubborn. Oops, we're lower now. Um, went up to 64 overnight. We did fade, so we're in a pretty decent position. You got to figure the London Open is going to take this through 60. Uh, so short gold looks okay. Uh, cable quickly. Um, what time is it? 6 a.m. in London. Um, we got through 122.03. I think today uh, cable's gonna gonna cruise higher. You can actually treat 122.03 as a break trade, which is weird, right? Because I think we traded up to 20 pre-market. Of course, this thing says the high is 92, but we opened figure 20. Um, but in real liquidity up through 122.03, you'll see some CTAs and you'll see some people that have to buy this shit. Um, and again, just a weaker dollar in general, um, 
it's going to be fine. Why is Sterling protected from all of this? Well, because Sterling has about the economic power of Mauritius these days. They're just out of the global loop. Um, nobody really gives a fuck what's going on in the UK anymore. And so in this case, it's not bad, right? There's actually no news over there. Uh, and no news right now is good news. So Sterling might be okay. I'm not saying it should be your horse. I'm just saying, you know, it's a cluster of Muppets right now uh, over there. And so nobody cares. And so they may do all right against people who are very bearish, who I think are going to be very bearish dollars. Anyway, I'm babbling on. This is very simple as far as we're concerned. And of course, it's never simple in real life. You want to buy some gold, you want to sell some dollar yen, you know, cable might roll higher, um, Euro Swiss is a buy on dip, just because of the Swiss franc, where's dollar max, dollar max, dollar max is a fade, we still like fading this up towards 1919, but now there's a triple top up there, so maybe 1925, 1930 is a dollar max fade, um, that's just a carry trade, right, max rates. I think like 11 uh, U.S. rates are going down. I'm babbling. Uh, but shit's happening here. Dollar yen 73 given. Gold 89 paid. Let me get back to this. Good luck out there, people. Make some dough today. Why not? You deserve it. Talk to you tomorrow. Ciao.